currently pretty much the cheapest way to develop color film at home is using this kit here, the Fuji Hunt Film Express Processing Kit. Although it isn't the fastest kit time-wise, as it uses a separate bleach and fix stage, whereas other kits have combined blicks, it does supposedly give you better quality negatives because of this. There are also other options from Rolleye, Jobo, Compar Digibase, but many of these go regularly out of stock, whereas the Fuji kit has been consistently available for as long as I've used it. I've also had extremely consistent results with it, having developed hundreds of films with this very kit. The kit can be bought for around 75 euros at the moment and can develop over 60 films with it, giving a f cost per film of only 1 euro 25, which is far cheaper than any lab. In addition to the chemicals, you will need certain bits of equipment. You will need a developing tank. I prefer the tanks from Jobo. I've tried a lot of the different ones and this seems to be the most reliable and easy to use. You will need storage bottles. And for this, I use 500 milliliter brown glass wide neck bottles. And I prefer the wide neck because it means you don't need an additional funnel, which saves on washing up and time later on. You will need some means of accurately measuring. So um, we have a measuring cylinder here. And I also use these glass pipettes. They're cheap on Amazon. You can get them and they're much more accurate than just using a measuring cylinder. The last thing you'll need is an accurate thermometer. This is because you need fairly close control of the temperature during the development stage. Because of this, you will also need warm water and you can either use a sous vide stick like the one made by Sinistil or cheap ones that may be on, available online. Or you can also get away with using just hot water from the tap if you mix it to the right temperature and it can stay that temperature for the development process. You will also need distilled or deionized water this is available at drugstores or DOI shops and is relatively cheap. However, I actually produce my own using a reverse osmosis filter, which are also relatively cheap. Uh, and it means that you save on plastic and saves you going to the shops all the time for more water. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. So inside the box, you get six bottles. You have your developers, part A, B, and C. You have your bleach, which is your second stage, and you have your fixer. The, the kit also comes with a set of instructions, which are not so useful. If you follow the instructions that I'm gonna be using here, you won't actually need these. The Fuji Hunt kit is designed to be used all at once, making up the full five liters at a time. However, if like me, you don't shoot anywhere near enough film to get through this amount, and it would likely go bad before you finish, then the best thing to do is break it down into smaller units. I'd like to thank Kevin, the photographer, who was actually the person who found this method of dividing it up, and I'll link his website with the instructions that he gave originally in the description below. So I always break the Fuji Hunt kit down into 500 milliliter batches. This is enough to develop six films at a time. Depending on how many storage bottles you get, you can either mix more batches at the same time or mix each batch as you need it. These batches, when filled to the brim and well sealed, can last well over six months, even up to a year. If you still aren't sure though, it's better to make each batch as you need it. There is only one problem with this, which is the developer part C, which is this one here. This one is the only part of the kit which very easily oxidizes, and this essentially destroys the developer. I've had this happen before, and it meant that half a kit couldn't be used and was wasted, and I had to buy a new kit. To get around this, I use a new method. I break the Part C developer into even smaller batches, into these glass vials. So each vial contains enough for one 500 milliliter batch of developer, and is completely sealed and oxygen free. To drive out the oxygen, I actually use this, which is Protect Hand Spray. Uh, now this is actually just butane, so you could use normal lighter gas as it is heavier than air and covers the surface of the liquid, stopping the oxygen getting to it. When the developer goes bad, you'll know because it goes jet black like ink. And although I've heard you can use it at this stage, I wouldn't take the risk. When sealed like this in the vials, I would expect the kit to last well over a year, 
As it happens, I've just used up the last of my last Fuji Hunt kit and I need to make the next batch now, so I'll show you the process as I do it. So firstly, I will mix up the developer. This is the most critical stage that you are very accurate with your measurements. Um, you also notice that I'm wearing gloves and safety goggles here. Although when mixed, most of the chemicals are not too bad. In their concentrated form, they're quite corrosive and could be damaging to your eyes. They also make your hands smell, so this is what I prefer to do. So the first thing we need is 450 milliliters of water. This is clean, uh, deionized water. And I will measure it in this measuring cylinder because it's more accurate. Two hundred and fifty, and then another two hundred to make four hundred and fifty. Okay, the next step is our part A, which is this one here. For this one, we need 35 milliliters. So for this, I'm actually going to use a syringe because it's a bit quicker. It's a 20 mil syringe, so again, two goes. First, 20 milliliters. Okay. Next, part B. This is the smallest part, and for this we only need four and a half milliliters. For this, I've got a five mil pipette. Four and a half mil. Okay. Obviously don't use the same pipette for the different chemicals. You don't want to contaminate them. That could very quickly destroy them. And lastly, part C. So for part C, we need nine milliliters. Again here, I have a 10 milliliter pipette. And as I said before, this one is most critical that you are accurate. This is the actual component that develops the film. Okay. Oh, and lastly, I will take just about half, one and a half milliliters of normal water to rinse out any of that developing agent that's in there. And add that in. Okay, and there we have it. The developer part is done. So next step, bleach. This one's a bit easier. So we just take our measuring cylinder and we need 250 milliliters of water. And we need also 250 milliliters of the bleach solution. Okay, stand up here. Careful with this one, it is not very nice stuff. Okay, 250 in there. 
I'll note that you should always add the water first and then the bleach because it is quite acidic. I'd also recommend you clean all of your equipment after each stage as well. You don't want to contaminate anything with this. And that's bleach step done. Okay, next step is the fixer. So for this one, we need 400 milliliters of water. and 100 milliliters of the fixer. There we have, fixer done. So the final component of the kit is the stabilizer. For this one, you need 490 milliliters of water, although it's not super critical that it's exact. I've already had this measured out. And you need five milliliters of the stabilizer. I'm actually not going to open the new bottle because I have some left over from a previous kit. And this again is not one that goes, it doesn't expire very easily. So this is a three milliliter syringe. So there's three. And five. Okay. That is then our Fuji hunt kit prepared and ready to use. Because now I've opened the kit, I'm actually going to divide this developer part C into the separate vials and show you to see the way I do it. This may be useful to you or not. Like I said before, it's just nine milliliters in each vial and then topped off with the Protectan spray. Should look the same. Now I'll just squirt a bit of this gas. In each one. And because it's heavy it will sit inside the bottle. And then I add the plastic cap that comes with these vials. There's a little bit left over, but I'm about to make a, another batch so it's ready to go. And there you go. Hopefully these will last another year. Although if it's anything like this year has been, I will get through these much faster than that anyway. Okay, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Fuji Hunt Kit. Um, in a later video, I might show you actually developing with it and the equipment I used to develop. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful and see you in the next video. Thank you.